Hi, this is Zomtu Greg, and on today's X Tiles, we're going to be comparing Polyjet and stereolithography. So stereolithography, also known as SLA, is a photopolymer material made by UV curing this material with a UV laser. Polyjet is also a similar photopolymer, but it's actually made by depositing micro droplets that get cured by a lamp layer by layer as you build it up. So you tend to see that nice streaking going back and forth on a Polyjet part. Where SLA, you'll see more traditional layer steps, finer than most processes across any slope surface against the growth of the part. So what's the difference between these two? Well, first off, Polyjet, because I'm depositing these micro droplets, I'm actually able to change more material properties in a given build. Not only does this allow me to do things like multi-material builds, but I gotta change things like the Shore A durometer. So for example, this part here is actually a Shore A90. So we could go from a rigid material to something that has a little bit more flex to it. If I wanna get really flexible, we can go all the way down to a Shore A27. So this geometry, again, nice accurate features, and I can fully curl this up. Just understand that these rubber likes really are for the squishiness, but they will rip on you because they're not like a rubber band with that elasticity. Polyjet is also well known for making clear parts relatively quickly, usually within a couple business days. This is a standard finish that you're gonna find on a clear Polyjet part, where in SLA, clear parts tend to have a little bit more of a step layer to it, but you can see here overall a nice translucency. If you choose strip and chip, sometimes you get lucky with SLA, and in strip and ship, we're actually taking the part off, barely touching it, removing just the support material. And with clear materials, you may get away with that nice, clean, semi-transparent finish. This can also be achieved through post-processing, polishing, and painting as well. So when I think about SLA, I'm thinking about varieties, simulated engineered materials, polypropylene-like, ABS-like. I have this great ABS black material that uh, works really well for these projects that you want to simulate injection mold parts, polycarbonate parts, different materials, and even some ceramic filled SLA materials are out there. So you have a wider variety of SLA materials, but Polyjet has more configurability on the individual materials that it has. So what else would you like to learn about with our X-Tiles? This is Zomtree Greg. Thank you so much.